Well, we're here at the Valmount Legion with the Military Police National Motorcycle Relay Ride. who are stopping here in Valmount on the BC leg of the tour, and we're here with Patsy Gustafson, who's with the ride. Patsy, welcome to Valmount. Thank you, Michael. Happy to be here. <laughs> Great. So, uh, can you give us just a little bit of background? What is the Military Police National Motorcycle Relay? It's a relay that goes coast to coast, raising funds for the Children's Blind Fund Foundation. Okay. And uh, so, you're going through BC. Where did you start? We started in Victoria, BC. And, and where will you go? We are going across around the province and ending with this group in Vancouver. Okay, so how many days all together? We were 15 days. Okay. Well, I did a little bit of research and found out that the, uh, the ride's been going since 2009, so this would be the 14th year of the ride. And uh, the, the national ride has raised over $800,000 for, uh, for charities, including the Blind Children's Fund. Uh, so uh, how does your fundraising on your leg go? What, what, what do you do? Do you accept checks from people uh, along the route? Yes, we do, Michael. We go to various legions and... Quite often, other companies will give us checks as well. Oh, that's great. And do you have any idea how much you've raised so far? We have raised over $11,000 to date. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. And uh, so where will you go from here? So you're in Vailma today. Uh, normally, uh, traditionally, the route has gone kind of the opposite way, uh, up the Icefields Parkway through Jasper and, and, and down uh, towards the coast. But I think you're kind of doing a backwards loop this year. I do believe today we are going up to Jasper and to the ice fields. Oh, that'll be really nice. It's a spectacular day here. It's going to be a, a wonderful day in the mountains. So, uh, have you been enjoying the ride? Is this your first ride, by the way? This is my second ride. Um, third year being involved on the executive. Um, I am going national this year. My husband and I and one other rider are going coast to coast, all the way to Newfoundland. Oh, that's a huge commitment. How, how long does that take? We are going we started August July 16th and we end August 19th oh wow that's fantastic and so I guess um, the two things I would like, like to ask you is if people are interested in donating because obviously this will air once you leave town and we're not going to get it on before you leave town what should they do they should go on our website military police national motorcycle relay or the military police fund for blind children Okay. And for those people who, f who see this and say, hey, that's wonderful. I love to ride bikes. I'd like to do this. How would they get involved for next year? They can go on our website as well and check out the various links and, and reach out to us. Okay. And do you have, I think you said you have about 20 riders this year. I, I know the numbers change. People come and kind of go. But uh, are there some first-time riders this year? We have a couple first-time riders for sure. And um, quite often we get return riders, some with pets on the back of the motorcycle as well. Yeah, I see that. You see, I saw a dog with a security jacket, <laughs> a security t-shirt on. Yeah, that, that is Miso. He'd been traveling with us for three years, to my knowledge. So, would, would you say this is just a fun experience for you guys? Absolutely. It's always been friends for life that we meet and, and we hang out with. And going from Legion to Legion has been so heartwarming. Wonderful. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much for doing what you do. It's important work. As I said, uh, over $800,000 has been raised uh, for various charities, including the uh, Military Police Blind Children's Fund, and that's a, a fantastic, uh, worthy, wonderful cause. So keep up the great work, and uh, we hope to see you again next year. Thank you, Michael. So there almost wasn't a check presentation because we had allotted a whole lot of money for something like this, but we did a fundraiser yesterday. So a half of your meal went to other people that came in while they were waiting for you. <laughs> so we have, we managed to raise some money for you. And uh, this charity is kind of near to my heart because I used to be a military policeman too. So I'm glad that we could help you. And uh, we hope to see you again. Okay. Uh, anything to add, Pete? Or? Yeah, just a couple words because there's lots, lots of new faces in the crowd. So. Uh, our branch has been supporting the ride uh, since year three, I believe. Uh, I was the president at the time and I got an email from this gentleman out of the blue saying, hey, this is what we're doing, how can you help? And so Lamont, who's become a good friend since, uh, we talked about it and what the needs were. And I said, well, you know, times are a little tough for the branch financially. I said, but we can, we can do a, a supper for you. So we. Always have our fam world famous bar barbecue burgers. So we can do a supper for you. 
and then oh you're overnighting okay well we can step that up we'll do a pancake breakfast for you before you leave okay so now one of the problems was back then everybody was motelling so in order for the riders to enjoy the camaraderie at the branch we had to deal with that so we were one of the first branches to offer shuttle service so yeah, so the, the bike stayed at the hotel, the riders came down. Uh, we had some amazing riders in the past. Uh, a few memorable characters, Sean Gillis sticks in my mind. He supported our cuss jar unbelievably. He just basically gave me his credit card and he said, tell me what it's done at the end. So, uh, so yeah, I think this is since year three and I'm not sure what year we're in this year. 14. 14, so yeah, so it's been good. So there we go. Very good. Oh. All right. Safe riding, guys. Thank you very, very much. We don't get to the jack. I was going to put it on the back of my plate. Were you? No. Well. Especially for you accommodating us, especially in our late arrival, unplanned events happening, um, and providing us with. Uh, um, some amazing food and hospitality. Um, we are very appreciative of that, uh, and your support is, is uh, not lost uh, on us. Um, and so no. we want you to, to have this plaque uh, to hang on your wall and uh, uh, something to remember us by. Thank you. Thank you.